Hello, welcome to another Battle Vital videos. Today we'll be covering the battle tactics and ship preparation along with Admiral setups. First, let's take a look at our Admirals in the Naval Academy. You see you have a variety that comes through that refreshes every day or you can use 100 GEC to refresh and go through. You want to pay attention to their talents. Each one has specific talents. We're going to go over to ours. We're going to take a quick look. As you can see, I have a variety. I have the original Keir Wilson that comes with your base when you first start the game. Surge Thunder, which comes from the 499 pack. And he's actually a very, very decent Admiral. And then I have another purple and a gold. Each one has specific talents. Kira Wilson, she has the ability, she forces fleets to retreat to port when they reach 40% health. That actually, if you're overweighed in any kind of a battle, that will preserve at least 40% of your fleet and let you come back so you can heal and is an escape artist as well as third thunder he has the ability damage versus space stations these two right here are very good for pvp being that they cannot be captured sent into the prison and then eventually ransomed so no matter what happens you will always keep these commanders now admiral Sonya and Rep. She comes through with the same assessment as Carol Wilson, but also will recover all the shields of any of the ships that are in her fleet within 20% after the battle. Then we have Thane, our gold commander. Fleet attack 15%, then the hurricane. Fleet movement speed 20%, evasion plus 20, damage taken 10%. He's a very good commander. Now you need to remember, just because it's a higher admiral, purple, gold, etc., does not mean it is beneficial to your fleet. You may actually end up with a very bad setup of talents that's not going to be beneficial to you in battle at all according to the way of your playstyle. <clears throat> As you can see from this, I have a variety of admirals from blue to gold. To level up is to really to gain more leadership. You can scan planets or attack either NPC pirates or PvP slash another player. For this, we shall just be working with NPC. We'll go back to our main station here. Okay, to do this, let's go to fleet management, which is right here. As you see, it's called in progress. We'll go here. We're gonna take a quick look and we're gonna click fleets. We wanna add a new fleet. Well, let's set up something to scan a planet with. What do we have? We have gunships. All right, we're going to add these gunships and we're going to add our Admiral. We're going to assign Kira Wilson. We're going to let her scout these planets and go from there. Let's go to system. Now, as you're scanning, you will also obtain uh, minerals, alloy crystals energy and if you're lucky you'll get to a further procedure to scan more planets now i have inadvertently scanned all the planets in this area so we're going to go to galaxy view and from the galaxy view you can look your entire area where are you where do you want to go how long is it going to take 
Well, let's go to the time mat system. What do we have in the time mat system? We have a planet that can be scanned. Time at number seven. So we're going to click scan. Assign the fleet. I want to keep the ships that's just I've added. So I'm not going to autofill. We're going to go from there. Now she's on her way. Let's go back to our station. You see here. Our station is located in Mardetta. We're going to go back here. We're going to enter. So we have a variety of pirates. Like this gentleman right here, he is fixing to attack an elite. We're looking at we have a pirate fleet, 26,000 K. So to do this, you want to have your attack fleet. You want to have an assistive, if you have one. And then you want to have a tanking fleet. A tanking fleet, uh, a lot of players like to use your gunships. And some people like to use frigates. I'm the type of person that likes to use frigates. So I'm going to come up here and build several frigates. We're going to load up with an entire reinforcement set. And I'll later explain this as we attack our pirate. We're going to be looking at the direction the pirates have to be, where your ship locations need to be located when you attack, and how to group attack. We're going to do two different styles today. And then finally, three more. As we are attacking pirates, you will notice that you're going to start gathering fragments. As we gather fragments, we'll look here in items menu. You have store, resources, items, and then finally fragments. Every time you attack a pirate, you have the opportunity to obtain any fragment and or ship fragment. As you go along, as you see, I've combined several things already. I'm getting very close to obtaining the Warrior Light Cruiser. And as you progress in this, you can go to your shipyards. And as you go to add, let's, let's look at our Light Cruisers. We're going to say Edit Default. Let's go into editing. We'll edit this. I've already got several advanced. I would like to add another advanced weapon after I've accumulated the fragments. We'll go to components. I've got several health. So what we want to do, we're going to lower the health. We're going to add another reactor. And we're going to add some advanced shields to the entire setup. There you go. Now notice over here, the ship's energy is zero. You cannot save this design once it reaches 
below zero. Once you go into a negative, you cannot save the ship design. As long as your ship energy is at zero or above, you have a highly functional We will assign the name Battle Vital to this setup. Well, we are full with our attack fleet at the moment. So let's go right into fleet management. Assign a new fleet. We're going to start with the actual boss fleet. The boss fleet, you want to work on adding everything that you have, especially your gold ships, if you've been able to get into the Kraken. You got your destroyers, your light cruisers. As you see up here in the overview, you have your basic leadership. And then you have your research leadership. So we're going to add until this is full. Now, we're going to go to new fleet. We're going to assign what we refer to as the tanking fleet. Now, as we tank, the reason to tank is... is you have your gunships and your frigates. They're very quick, very cheap, and very easy to build. They will take the brunt of the attack while your main fleet has chance to fire as many shots as possible. So we're going to go to the Ranger frigates. We're going to fill this up and assign him. Now we're going to have what I like to use as an assistive fleet we have remaining light cruisers we're going to add those we're going to add any destroyers that we had built then we're going to go into older grunt frigates we're still not full so let's fill this up we are now full I now have a remainder 139 Ranger frigates still in the dock. And I'll show you why this is important here directly. We're going to look at this pirate that we had just viewed. Look at the direction the pirate ship is moving. He's going, he's pointing in this direction, which means as you begin your attack, Anything in, in front of it, or whichever fleet you decide to attack with first, is the first fleet it's going to fire on. So we're going to move our main fleet to the rear of this. And then we're going to put our assistive fleet right next to it. Now, for the strategy part of this, we're going to look at where the fleet's actually pointing. We're going to take the tank fleet that I've assigned and point right in front of him. Each ship has a specific speed depending on what level you're at. Okay, now that we sped things up a bit, got our fleets in position, one of our scans from Kira has actually accomplished, so we're going to see what she found. Fleet report. We found research on the planet. 
We found some minerals on the planet that can add to our reserve. Minerals, 20,000. Very good. All this experience that you gain from doing scans and attacking pirates, you will look that when you're a member of an alliance, click on warehouse. Up here, you can see I've acquired 181,000 points. The leadership can add items that you need anywhere from speed ups to buffs, admiral experience, and resources. As you can see with my resources to the left, I'm okay. <clears throat> now, we're going to look at the pirate that we've set up. As you see, I've assigned my formation to basically put what we call the hammer and anvil tactic. We're going to come here. We have the option to attack. We're going to attack. Now, as I attack, I'm only going to attack with one fleet. Does not matter one to a hundred fleets, how many that you have within the circle of this and as I attack you'll see a red dotted line and if you're within that circle all fleets within your your station or your alliance will begin attacking automatically we have our triangle we'll come in and we're going to view the battle as you see only Surge is getting any damage at all from this attack. He's coming through. My main fleet is doing all the firing, firing with the assistive fleet and taking absolutely no damage at all. There, we've won the match. As you see, the pirates have dropped 1,980 crystals and 77,000 minerals. So we're going to send some work ships to come in here. They're going to collect these resources. Now let's look at the battle details. The battle of the pirate. There we go. I've just acquired a single fragment for an advanced weapon. Every single commander that I have added here, the admirals have actually ex gained experience of 8,970. Does not matter if your admiral has one ship or a hundred thousand. It, they will always gain the same experience as long as they're together in the same battle. We're going to look at battle details. The pirate fleet. They had 18 destroyers and 6 pirate light cruisers. I myself, as you see, started out with 395 frigates. I'm down to 379. I have lost a handful of frigates. And as we go to our fleet management, we're going to look... She has nothing damaged. My main fleet has nothing damaged. My tank fleet, however, has a few losses and 47 damage. We're going to recall him and bring him back to the base. The reason for this <coughs> is we're going to replenish what ships he has lost. We're going to remove the ships that are damaged into the dock and refill that with fresh ships. Let the dock repair the ships while I can go back out and obtain what I need to fight with. Now, as you see, we have another pirate here. 19,000. I'm going to do the same setup. I'm gonna put my main fleet behind this pirate. 
I'm going to put my assist fleet behind it. And I'm going to go ahead and add Kira as just an assistive to gain experience and level her up. All right. The Surge Thunder is now reaching into my base. We're going to go to the dock. We're going to look at the different fleets. We're going to look at him. Instead of clicking repair, if I repaired them now, this fleet would be stuck in my dock for, as you see, one hour, 28 minutes. We're not going to do this. We're going to click on over here where it says Ranger Frigates. And you notice that it switched from repair to move to dock. So I can now take the 47 that are damaged, move them to the dock, and refill back to full capacity with the extra frigates that I have been building on the side. Let's go back to the dock, and you see in the dock I can actually repair while I'm sitting there. Now, all I have to do is come to this pirate, move the fleet to the forward position as I've done before, and I'm going to prepare a attack all strategy, which is beneficial if you're not sure if you've got your fleets set right or if your fleet may be outside the red circle of the attack battle well, while we're waiting for the fleet to arrive there do not forget to always check your station come to your daily look at the process of your daily things that need to be done use GEC I'm not going to do that use resources I'm in the process of use minerals this bottom right down here to go through this list you want to look at this if it says use minerals use energy or use your crystals what you have to do is you need to go to your item menu click resources scroll over and it says use minerals what you have is just like when you donate it takes five times you get an award for your first you get an award for your three, and you get an award for doing it five times. So we're going to do this five times. Two, three, four, and five. And we're going to go back to the daily. And there you go. I've completed task one. Got an assistive. Completed the task two with three. And I'm going to complete it one more time for the five. And I'm almost at the 120 crate. And as you see down here, I'm at 475, which is almost at the 500. Later today, I will complete this. The battle, I have three more battles. And I will win 2,000 crystals and five more, which is going to put me at 120. So let's go back to the system. Let's see if our ships have all arrived and they're ready to go. They are prepared. Now, instead of hitting attack, we're going to hit group attack group attack pay close attention do not just start adding 
your fleet. The very top fleet, that is the, the initial attack fleet. Then you can add below that in order. So I have added these three off the top. I've added both purples. I've added Kira, the blue. And then I put my gold commander, Thane, at the bottom. The pirates will have to go through all three of the top commanders to reach Thane, which is going to protect my larger ships while I'm farming for experience, while I'm farming for any kind of uh, minerals um, and ship fragments. And we're going to click OK. As you see, all the ships begin the charge at the same time. Now, however, just as before, only surge with the frigates are receiving any kind of damage. The lower fleets, being that they're very close to the battle, can actually receive damage from time to time. Let's go ahead and pick these up. Good amount of crystals, very good amount of minerals. We're going to go here to our fleets. As you see, I have no damage to my main fleet. This is keeping me strong for any attackers. This is keeping me prepared for any larger battles that I may need to happen. It takes a lot more resources and a lot longer time to build these longer ships. So you want to be able to level up everything and acquire the extra resources that you need without losing a lot of heavy damage. As you see, she has no damage. Our other assistive fleet has no damage. And he has 42. So, there you go. Let's look at what we have here. I have reports that I've already obtained the crystals from the prior match. I've gained 20,000 energy from this attack. 6,500 experience per commander, regardless of what ships they had. Building details. All right. Pirate frigates, destroyers, and light cruisers. I went through, I have absolutely no damage except for I have lost two frigates. Well, there you go. This is your basics on attack strategy. Use the tank fleet, assign your main fleet. Look at the direction of the, where the pirate is facing and go through, enjoy the game. This is Battle Vital, signing off.